The Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's inaugural foray into fifth-generation fighter aircraft, has been shrouded in both intrigue and controversy since its inception. This aircraft, also known by its NATO reporting name Felon, has been a focal point of Russia's military aviation ambitions, aiming to showcase the nation's prowess in developing cutting-edge technology. Touted by Moscow as a technological marvel, designed to rival the dominance of American stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, the Su-57 has been positioned as a game-changer in aerial combat. Its development has been closely watched by global defense communities, eager to see if it can truly match or surpass its Western counterparts. The Su-57's true capabilities remain a subject of intense debate among defense analysts and aviation enthusiasts alike. While some praise its potential, others question whether it can deliver on the lofty promises made by its developers. The aircraft's advanced features such as its stealth design, supercruise ability, and integrated avionics, are often highlighted, but their real-world effectiveness is still under scrutiny. While Russia has showcased the aircraft's agility and advanced avionics, demonstrating impressive maneuvers and high-speed capabilities at various air shows and military exercises, questions linger about its stealth characteristics, engine performance, and overall production viability. The Su-57's radar cross-section, a critical factor for stealth, has been a particular point of contention. Questions linger about its stealth characteristics, engine performance, and overall production viability. The engines, initially intended to be a new design, have faced numerous challenges, leading to delays and reliance on older models. This has raised concerns about the aircraft's ability to meet its performance targets. The Su-57's development has been marked by delays, funding shortages, and a limited production run, raising doubts about its ability to challenge Western air superiority in any meaningful way. Despite these setbacks, Russia has continued to push forward, aiming to refine and improve the aircraft with each iteration, raising doubts about its ability to challenge Western air superiority in any meaningful way. The limited number of units produced so far has also been a point of criticism, with some experts arguing that a larger fleet is necessary to truly test and validate the aircraft's capabilities in various combat scenarios. Furthermore, its alleged use in the Syrian conflict where it reportedly conducted limited strikes has done little to quell skepticism surrounding its operational effectiveness. The missions were seen by some as more of a political statement than a genuine test of the aircraft's combat readiness, has done little to quell skepticism surrounding its operational effectiveness. Critics argue that the limited deployment did not provide enough data to conclusively prove the Su-57's capabilities in a real-world combat environment. Despite these uncertainties, the Su-57 remains a potent symbol of Russia's military ambitions, embodying their determination to maintain a technological edge in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape. The aircraft is often featured prominently in military parades and air shows, serving as a testament to Russia's engineering and technological advancements, embodying their determination to maintain a technological edge in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape. The Su-57's development is not just about creating a new fighter jet, it's about asserting Russia's place on the global stage as a leader in military technology. The Su-57's true significance may lie not in its immediate combat potential, but rather in its long-term implications for Russian aerospace innovation. As a platform for testing and integrating new technologies, the Su-57 plays a crucial role in advancing Russia's aerospace capabilities, but rather in its long-term implications for Russian aerospace innovation. The aircraft serves as a test bed for various advanced technologies that could be used in future projects, potentially giving Russia a significant advantage in the next generation of aerial warfare. As a development platform for cutting-edge technologies, including advanced composite materials, integrated avionics suites, and next-generation propulsion systems, the Su-57 represents a crucial step towards securing Russia's place as a leading power in military aviation. These innovations could pave the way for more advanced and capable aircraft in the future. The Su-57 represents a crucial step towards securing Russia's place as a leading power in military aviation. Whether it ultimately fulfills its promise as a formidable adversary to Western fighters remains to be seen, but its development has already influenced global military strategies and defense planning. Whether it ultimately fulfills its promise as a formidable adversary to Western fighters remains to be seen, 
but the Su-57 has undoubtedly captured the world's attention as a tangible manifestation of Russia's resurgent military might. Its journey from concept to operational status will be closely monitored by both allies and adversaries, eager to understand its true impact on the future of aerial combat. But the Su-57 has undoubtedly captured the world's attention as a tangible manifestation of Russia's resurgent military might. As the aircraft continues to evolve, it will remain a key element in the ongoing narrative of global military power dynamics, symbolizing the relentless pursuit of technological superiority in the skies. The genesis of the Su-57 can be traced back to the latter stages of the Cold War, when the Soviet Union embarked on an ambitious program to counter the emerging threat posed by American stealth technology. During this period, the United States was making significant strides in developing stealth aircraft, which were designed to be nearly invisible to radar detection. This technological leap presented a formidable challenge to the Soviet Union, which prided itself on its advanced military capabilities. The Soviet leadership recognized that to maintain its strategic edge, it needed to develop its own stealth technology and advanced fighter jets that could compete with the American advancements. Recognizing the potential game-changing nature of aircraft like the F-117 Nighthawk and the nascent Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program, which would eventually give rise to the F-22 Raptor, Soviet aerospace engineers began exploring their own concepts for a next-generation fighter. The F-117 Nighthawk, with its groundbreaking stealth capabilities, had already demonstrated the effectiveness of such technology during its operational use. Meanwhile, the ATF program aimed to create a highly advanced air superiority fighter, further pushing the boundaries of what was possible in aerial combat. The Soviet engineers were acutely aware that they needed to innovate rapidly to keep pace with these developments. This initiative, known as the Multifunctional Frontal Fighter MFI program, aimed to develop a highly maneuverable and stealthy aircraft capable of challenging American air dominance. The MFI program was a bold and ambitious project that sought to integrate the latest advancements in aerodynamics, avionics, and materials science. The goal was to create an aircraft that could not only evade radar detection but also outperform its adversaries in dogfights and other aerial engagements. The Mikoyan Project 1.44 was one of the prototypes developed under this program, showcasing the Soviet Union's commitment to pushing the envelope in fighter jet design. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 dealt a severe blow to the MFI program, as Russia grappled with economic turmoil and political uncertainty. The dissolution of the Soviet Union led to a period of significant upheaval, with many military projects being abandoned or severely scaled back due to a lack of funding and resources. The Russian aerospace industry, once a powerhouse of innovation and production, found itself struggling to survive in the new economic reality. The MFI program, along with many other ambitious projects, was put on hold as the country focused on more immediate concerns. Despite these setbacks, the Russian aerospace industry persevered, albeit at a reduced pace, recognizing the strategic importance of fielding an advanced fighter to maintain parity with Western powers. The engineers and scientists who had worked on the MFI program continued to refine their designs and explore new technologies, even as they faced significant challenges. The knowledge and experience gained from the MFI program would prove invaluable in the years to come, as Russia sought to re-establish itself as a major player in the field of military aviation. As Russia's economy began to recover in the late 1990s and early 2000s, the Kremlin renewed its commitment to developing a fifth-generation fighter, leading to the formal launch of the Perspectivny Aviazioni Complex Frontovoy Aviazii PKFA program in 2002. This renewed focus on advanced military technology was part of a broader effort to modernize Russia's armed forces and restore its status as a global military power. The PAKFA program was seen as a critical component of this strategy, with the goal of creating a fighter jet that could rival the best in the world. The PAKFA program, with Sukhoi emerging as the lead contractor, sought to incorporate the lessons learned from the MFI program while leveraging advances in aerospace technology that had emerged in the intervening years. Sukhoi, with its extensive experience in designing and building fighter jets, was well positioned to take on this challenge. The company drew on the expertise of its engineers and the technological advancements that had been made since the MFI program, aiming to create a fighter jet that would set new standards in performance and capability. 
The design philosophy emphasized a balanced approach combining stealth capabilities with exceptional maneuverability and super cruise performance, the ability to sustain supersonic flight without the use of afterburners. This approach was intended to create a versatile and highly capable aircraft that could perform a wide range of missions, from air superiority to ground attack. The emphasis on supercruise performance was particularly important as it allowed the aircraft to cover large distances quickly and engage targets with minimal warning. This approach reflected a recognition that while stealth was crucial for survivability in contested airspace, it could not come at the expense of aerodynamic performance, particularly in a potential engagement with highly agile American fighters. The designers of the Su-57 understood that in a dogfight, maneuverability and speed could be just as important as stealth. As a result, they sought to create an aircraft that could excel in both areas, ensuring that it would be a formidable opponent in any aerial engagement. The Su-57, designated T-50 during its initial flight test phase, took to the skies for the first time in 2010, marking a significant milestone in Russia's quest for a fifth-generation fighter. The successful maiden flight of the T-50 was a testament to the hard work and dedication of the engineers and technicians who had worked on the project. It also signaled to the world that Russia was once again a force to be reckoned with in the field of military aviation. The aircraft's maiden flight was met with a mixture of fanfare and skepticism, as Western observers sought to assess its true capabilities and potential impact on the balance of air power. While some analysts were impressed by the Su-57's performance and design, others questioned whether it could truly match the capabilities of its Western counterparts. The international community watched closely as the Su-57 continued its development and testing, eager to see how it would perform in real-world conditions. The following sections will delve deeper into the Su-57's design features, stealth characteristics, and the challenges it has faced in its journey from drawing board to operational reality. We will explore the technological innovations that have been incorporated into the aircraft, as well as the obstacles that have been encountered along the way. From its advanced avionics and weapon systems to its cutting-edge materials and manufacturing techniques, the Su-57 represents the pinnacle of Russian aerospace engineering. Join us as we take a closer look at this remarkable aircraft and the story behind its development.